NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader. Finally, it's easy. 24 hours before. Kenny just nailing <laughs> <laughs> it in with the bathroom. Uh, uh, bathroom. Uh, uh, get him a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like he just got his oh, hog oh, no, no. <laughs> No, so he just mailing it in. I love that. Get him, America. Don't hate because it's great. Hey. <laughs> get him, America. Man, you just mailing it in with a bathroom. Uh, Clippers and Rockets now. Steph Curry. Kenny <laughs> <laughs> Bartholomew Smith. <laughs> You need the ascot. <laughs> ascot coming later. Uh, Check it out Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern. I'm, I'm going to slap you instead of Keith Gatlin in Maryland. He <laughs> keeps saying but, the same But you didn't slap him. No, I, I, slap instead him. of it, I was going. Uh, oh, <laughs> stop hey, the tough hey, talk, hey, Kenneth. Hey, uh, Keith Gatlin. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, 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 do Smith. me a favor. Uh, uh, sta Gatlin. Staff on crack. Uh, I want to see that tape again. Yeah, look, man. Can Please you, show that again. That was our first ever home loss. Can and, uh, no. At yeah, <laughs> the beginning of basketball, <laughs> Rudy <laughs> tapped. <laughs> Rudy tapped. I love oh, that. Paul, you don't know what it hey, feels like to be hey, number one in the Hey, hey, Paul. I love that, Paul. You don't know what that feels like. Come on, man. Season. Show the tape, man. Look, Get it. it. Ball, you so man. The game was over. What's your score? The game was over. They, they, you see, look at my body language as yeah. it was. You saw I was like, the game was over. Ball, you and man. I was, gonna, I was like, man, they beat us, and it's the first time we got a loss. I was off up your ass. It, no, it was on my back. Thank <laughs> you. No, off your yeah, ass. Yeah, wait, you wait, 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 wait. You got wait. mad. No, 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 let it play. Yeah, no, let the tape play. Go after it. Let the tape play. You ain't do that. He did. He might have went after, but he didn't grab it. After the booty. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I, yeah, I ain't take that. No, you I, ain't hey, do nothing, Kenneth. Zach, hey, stop. Zach. Kenneth, stop it with the tough talk. Come on, come on, tough, tough guy. You America, just got, you just, hey, Kenneth, listen, you just it. got the booty tap on national television. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that was a booty tap. <laughs> My man was right. You got the booty tap <laughs> on national television. <laughs> tough guy. Listen. Hey, listen. Hey, hey listen, hey. man. I knew you were <laughs> soft. <laughs> I know you were soft. That was my first time. Hello. That was my first time. He got his booty tap Hey, check, check. He got the booty tap. I'm sensitive. Uh, I got the booty tap. <laughs> hey, check, check. Got the booty. Hey, tap tap, 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 that, booty key. <laughs> tap <laughs> that booty key. <laughs> tap that booty key. <laughs> hey, but you, tap hey, that you, booty. Tap, tap, tap that booty. Tap that booty. <laughs> I will say something. I, it's very hilarious, but I will say something. That is the game that oh, made stop it. the late, great Len Bias who he was. That really? was the Lim Bias okay. game when he, he had 35 points in that game well, against us. We don't care about the other 35. Rest in peace, Lim Bias. We care about the booty tap. <laughs> Those are two. We First of all, is there college footage of you? Anyway? <laughs> We're going to take a break here on this side. Do it again, Chuck. We'll be back booty with more. We'll, 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 we're retiring that play. <laughs> that is the 11th time you've heard that intro music. Hey. We on to the toes, baby. In this episode, uh, you're going to hear from Dr. Sanjay Gupta. One of the smartest men and nicest people you ever yeah. going to meet. Working with you, Kenny and Shaq, that's the first time I said that. One of the smartest and nicest people I've ever been around. Never said that before. After 19 years with you three. <laughs> See, this is what I put up with, folks. Uh, see, Ernie, I'm not going to get on TV and lie and say I'm like a, a rocket scientist. That's evident. I'm not made to work in cold weather or hot weather. That's, I'm just trying to digest that whole answer. You can't go wrong with In-N-Out Burger. You can't go wrong with Five Guys. I love Taco Bell. You can never go wrong with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, I left out Popeyes. When you're talking about your top five fast food places with Chuck, you ain't gonna get just the top five. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna eat more than five places. Hey, hey, hey. See, see, I don't like where you're going with this. Episode number 11 is in the, the books. books. On to the toes. Check out the Steam Room, subscribe, and listen weekly, on, wherever you get your podcast. What does on to the toes mean? Because we've had 11 episodes now. So you're, you're, when you're on, counting, you got to yeah, 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 start using on your toes. To you said, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. One of the questions. One of the I, questions ca I called him on it too, Jack. <laughs> no, one of the questions on, on Chuck's answering machine yeah. was somebody who wanted to know that if we could bring back a, a series that's no longer on, what would it be? 
Because Fat Albert. No, 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 no that's re what's happening? Hey, no. hey, 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 no, no. hey, 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 no, no. hey, hey, hey. That's, no. that's what's no. happening. If I had that's done that, that okay. That's, and I thought, so what he My said, bad. when I said that, I, I was, called. Your I, card just got revoked. No, 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 no I know. Yeah. I was thinking, I was Your thinking. Card, hey, Ernie's, hey. Ernie's black card got put up. Yours got yeah. revoked. Yeah, I thought you didn't know what's happening. I ain't watch what's happening. You ain't watch what's happening? No. Come on, Sean. Come on, man. Hell no. Good You didn't watch what's happening, Raj and Rerun? No, I did not. And it was it Dems, Jefferson, and Sanford. Hey, and hey, I'm not you know you good in any Martin Luther or any with that. <laughs> I thought he was saying, hey, hey, hey. No, no, no hey, 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 hey. I thought he was going, right, I, thought, I yeah. called him, I thought you were trying to call me rerun. No, would, oh, would never yeah, do that. Yeah, you do look like rerun. You got a little, uh, you, you're not rerun, you got a little buffalo butt to you. Right. Bookman. You yeah, but, oh, Bookman. Bookman. Well, I, you know, I said, you know, and I said good times, because uh, everybody got me, for, everybody got me. <laughs> No, because everybody want to see Thelma. <laughs> and what, what was uh, what, what was what, what was Janet Dubois? Uh, what, what was the aunt? <laughs> what, what was the aunt? What was what was the aunt? One time. What was what was the aunt? We not going there. We want to get this. We want to get this. One time. What time? That's a poor imitation. Oh, boy, hey, what was the ass name on Good Times? I don't know. I don't the good looking aunt, played by Janet Dubois. No, just uh, passed away too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Shout out to uh, Willona, 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 Thelma. Rest in peace. Buffalo butt. All right, if we got some, uh, uh, if we got some Shaq and the Fool. Okay. <laughs> Five-year-old guy to play me. <laughs> <That was, laughs> Y'all, you were sleeping that day. Yeah, that was rude and inappropriate. Can I use, can Man, I use the likeness. Yeah. That guy like looks that. nothing like me. This is delicious here. I don't know what that guy is. <laughs> Thanks, Jet. You will be yeah. hearing from my attorneys in the morning. <laughs> We, we truly, truly left now. We okay. uh, really didn't usually like this. It wasn't hey, you guys. Tell you yeah. As soon as, yeah. 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 Come on. That Come on, really, That's man. us, really. Come on. Hey, that dude do look yeah. like you, Chuck. Yeah. Why are you so small, Kenny? Because yeah. I just feet the seat. Because he just knocked the seat down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, I, when I'm watching TV tomorrow and I see one of them attorney commercials come on, I'm gonna call him. Hey, but <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen. Better call nothing, Saul. Nothing like the original. Uh, oh, the hammer. The hammer. Uh, how did I get the night off? Oh, <laughs> load management. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's let's uh, let's look at the American Express teammates. Oh. Uh, they're not actually teammates, but uh, <laughs> Norman Powell's had himself a nice first half for Toronto. 23 points on nine of 14 shooting, hit three from deep. And Steph Curry scoreless in the first quarter on 0 for 2 shooting. It has 11 in the first half. Three out of nine, two out of seven from deep, including that one we showed you as we came in. But what'd you, what'd you make of the return of Steph Curry after missing Man, 58 games? I'm just great to see, you know, one of the greatest players in our game on the floor. Uh, now, in the summertime comes, he'll be working on his game and not rehabbing. So, nobody's right? No. Okay. We're not hanging with you anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Oh, but I, I, I'll tell you what he does. He, he, he obviously... He's a magnet for the defense. So all of a sudden, there's different spacing when he's on the floor. You look how Norman, freeze it here. Norman Powell is not denying. No one else in the whole floor is being denied except for this guy. So what that creates is a better driving lane for Marquise and a better passing lane for him as well. Because now he's able to get the ball and move it out because there's only one guy. But the constant movement of this guy here, but freeze it here, now, one, look at, the, look at the attention. One, two, three, four. Everybody's eyes is towards Steph. But what he is a magician with the basketball, and he can find guys that aren't there and get them easy shots. This is what Steph Curry MVP does. And then the movement. He's never stopping. He's never going to stop moving. No point guard on Golden State can do what he does. He's never going to stop. He's going to find opportunities. I don't see it there. I'm going to move back out. I'm using screens. Freeze it here. And now most people say, well, the play is over. Toronto's done a great job defensively. But this guy with two different color sneakers on says, no, you better step out a little further because that's <laughs> cash, rules, everything around me. From the A in chase, he knocked down that three, 11 points in the first half. The story for Toronto, though, was Norman Powell. Show. Yes, even though Kyle and Siakam is the one-two punch, you know, they're pretty good at doing it by committee. They did that last year in the championship. And today, uh, Norman Powell is his night. You know, this guy usually averages 15.9. He has 23. And look, when you're hot, they get you the ball. And that's how most championship teams play. Okay, I, I know this is my team, but this guy is hot right now. He's shooting the ball. Let's just give him the ball. Here he is right here getting in the scene. And right here, he has right, the ability great. to do this, to pull up 
Boom, when you're feeling it, who, whoever is feeling it on the team, whether they're the go-to guy or not, you get it to work. Yeah, he's had a great year. 50% shooter this year and wow. 9 out of 14 in the first half. Chuck? And I just got to take my hat off to Nick Nurse and Masai Ujiri. These guys are well coached. They do a fabulous job. They got a great organization. You know, I think most people thought they were going to fall apart when Kawhi left. For them to be as good as they are this year, you got to take your hat off to the coach Nurse and Masai because, man, these guys are balling. Uh, Mark Gasol has been out a lot. But these guys are playing great. Uh, and it they was just a, play smart basketball, which great. was hard, underrated in today's game. They've led by as many as 14. The lead is seven at the break. And we'll be back with more on the American Express Halftime Report in just a second. Check out the commercials. Yeah, thanks, thought you man. was our friend, Kenny. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got Western Conference heavyweights tonight. Yeah, heavyweight! Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers hold the second spot in the West and have won five in a row. James Harden and the Rockets are fourth. They've gone 10 and 3 with their small ball attack. Championship Ooh. contenders head to head on TNT. All right, Marv Albert, Chris Weber, Ali LaForce standing by to bring you the Clippers and Rockets, and later Steph Curry after missing 58 games, makes his Golden State return as the Warriors host the Raptors in their first meeting since the finals. Here inside Atlanta Studio J, TNT NBA tip-off is presented by Auto Trader. Ernie Johnson, Charles is here, Kenny is here, Shaq is here, the hair is not here. Thank goodness. The ascot is here. The vest is there. Is everything there? Is it, yes, you got it, you got it all covered. Look, Looking I, good. Looking like Thurston Howell the third over look, there. Look, I'm all that money. <laughs> Love you. I'm a man of my word. I lost a bet with, with D-Wade. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. you know, I, just I hear to, you. Because, look, if you look at it, it's, it goes back, so I just let it grow up. Well, yeah. you, I watched the show the other night. You look, I just want to say you look like a damn idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there it was the other night. <laughs> you don't like that, that, Ernie? It doesn't look like hair to me, Shaq. Hey, that that looks like Ernie's hair. You're the black Ernie Johnson. Like you went to like you went to Earl. Shive and got that <laughs> black I do shy. like the vest there. and the ascot. Thank you. Yes, I do. I almost when I wore my vest, I almost yeah. threw the ascot yeah. on that day. Let's uh, yeah. let's talk uh, Clippers and Rockets, and let's uh, look at It's Easy presented by Auto Trader. So the Rockets, small ball, ten and three in their last thirteen, averaging 120 points a game. They have been out rebounded in every game, yeah. uh, and to the tune of uh, 51 to 40. On the on the average, uh, they've played three times. The Clippers and Rockets. Rockets have won two out of three. This will be the first time, Kenny, that the Clippers have faced this new addition of of the Rockets. And there you see their their <laughs> tallest player, Robert Covington, standing six five seven. guards. Uh, Shaq, would you? We we feel like we've put these up there in their actual size. Would you like to stand next to say Russell Westbrook and see if you are? 7-3 and he's he's 6-3. You are you 7-3? No, I'm 6-11. I, I, like, I, I just played like I was 7-3. You know, it's uh No, you're just getting old and fat. You're down but, to 6-11. Well, but please I'm take fat it. and I'm lighter than you. What does that make you? You ain't lighter than me. Well, I'm, I'm take, I am lighter than you. I'll bet I'll bet against your fat ass. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take, take my shirt off right now. Uh, I'll take it off right now. Yeah, he's seven feet. Yep. Wait, oh, yeah. you're shrinking? That no, like I just played seven, big, unlike you. Seven, one and a half. Seven, yeah. seven two. Yeah. No, he's not seven two. Stop. He's seven one. There, look at the seven foot line. He right, he right there. No, his, look, you can see his head is above the seven foot line. Oh, that's just Ernie. a knot. That's yeah. a knot. That's not a head. I'm yeah. six eleven and three quarters. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. Now, Chuck seven, is six one. four. Chuck, if you were up there, you'd probably stand. I stand right between Russell and James. Yeah. Come on up here, Chuck. Oh, yeah, no, go on. No. No. No, come on up. Why you can't go up there? Just go up there, Chuck. Up We'd up like to see it, man. I'm here to work. I ain't got to. That's work. This is part of the work. Come on up here, so America can so see your man. As, as we all move around, it's 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 ten and three with this with this small ball thing. Are you are you convinced? Can no, I mean the Rockets are, 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 are every night they walk into the gym and they go, we got seventy points between two guys. We're the best two at our position every night on the offensive end. What are you going to do? That, that that that's not going to change. The, the the difference is in the playoffs, the possibility, the, the, which is the most underrated stat, Ernie. The, the, the thing that is the last part of defense is rebounding. So securing the basketball, 
And if you give people multiple shots, it doesn't matter if you're shooting the three at the high clip, if you're giving me two for every shot. So the last part of defense is securing the ball, rebounding. That's part of defense. And you're losing it every night. That against the elite, the Clippers, the Lakers, could be detrimental. And Ernie, and it, and well, it, and go ahead, and Ernie I played on, on a team where two guys were scoring 30, but the later we got in, you know, you know, the further we went, you're still going to need that third guy. You're still going to need that third consistent guy. And I don't know if they have that. And, you know, uh, defense wins championships, and, you know, they have lost all the rebounding. Will it cost them? It hasn't cost them yet because Shannon Fry said something uh, very interesting next door. The small ball that, that they play, they switch up uh, every lineup. Every lineup. When you miss a shot, now you're going to be all discombobulated because they were playing uh, you Say it again. When they miss a shot, you're going to be all discombobulated. Okay. That's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> discombobulated because they were playing Utah. James Harden was uh, guarding uh, Rudy Gobert. They miss a shot. Rudy Gobert, he's running down court. He don't know who's the guard. So, you know, from defense to offense, they're very dangerous. But, you know, as far as them rebounding, it might, it might hurt them. It might not. Well, this is the worst matchup they can get right here. The, the Clippers have the three best perimeter defenders in the NBA. The Rockets have the two best offensive perimeter players in the NBA. They're going to be able to rotate those guys around. Uh, this is a, and, and let me tell you something. Kawhi Leonard said something, and they haven't lost since then. After they lost their third straight game, he said, hey, guys, it's time to quit screwing around. Let's get serious. We're getting ready for the playoffs. They have not lost since that game. They've won five in a row. They have, they have now secured nine straight winning seasons have the Clippers. Uh, and Doc Rivers was, was asked about playing this version of the, of the Houston Rockets. And he said, you know, because people are saying, well, do you need to adjust what you do because of what the Rockets are doing? And Doc's like, no, I mean, we got, we've got to be who we are. We've got to win the way we do, just like they have to win the way they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's 100% right, but he, they play small, too. They can, Macho yes. Harrell, no, Macho no, Harrell. No, no, is, no. He, no he, Macho Harrell's an undersized. But, but Kenny, but Kenny is 100% correct because Zubas starts a game, but he Macho never finishes. Play, he never finishes. They play so they small. They play small. That's why I just said. They play the same as that, yeah. that people that were up there. That's the same size that they finish games at. When, when the Rockets, excuse me, when the Clippers finish the game, they are the. The Rockets got two guys who are great at small ball. The Clippers got four guys Harrell, Lou Williams, uh, uh, the, the cyborg <laughs> and Paul George. <laughs> so, like Doc Rivers said it perfectly, they start the game with Zubas, but he did. I've never seen him finish a game ever. So, so they are the best. Did everybody talk about the Rockets? The Clippers are the best small ball team in the NBA. That's why I say this about the Lakers and the Clippers. They can handle LeBron between Paul George and Kawhi because he got to guard them on the other end also. The key to the Lakers, if they got a chance, which I don't think they do, is going to be Anthony Davis. Can he dominate down low? Because they don't have any big guy can handle Anthony Davis. But they can handle these little munchkins tonight. The Clippers, the number two team in the West. The Rockets, the number four team in the West in their final regular season meeting here on TNT. Shaq standing next to these <laughs> Rocket players. <laughs> Shout out to my man. I miss you, Vern Traor. What a good dude you were. Back with more in just a second. Here from Studio J. Well, the Los Angeles Clippers have gone into Houston and opened up a can on the Rockets. Man, 67-44 after 24 minutes. Well, they got a plan B. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> Kawhi's got 17 to lead them. Four Clippers in double figures as they have dominated while shooting 52%. The Rockets just 34% and two out of 22 from deep. It's the American Express halftime report. Ernie Johnson, Charles, Kenny, Shaq, what? No, we're doing hand signals. I know you are. We're what is anything we, we anything we need to know about? No, not no. yet. Well, it, it'll come out soon. I think it means. I think it means American Express teammates look like this. Um, Leonard Zubats, Marcus Morris, and Montrez Harrell. Ooh. Yeah, but Ernie, it's, it's some on that board that really stands out. 52 of the 67 points. What, what really stands 19 out? 19 rebounds? Nope. Zubats and Harrell. Ernie, two things. If you, if you watch this game, the Clippers are doing two things. They are standing over James Harden's right hand. He has got to go. His left hand, he has got to go right every single time. 
they are paying attention to detail on the on the on the scout report. But the one thing they do, and these other NBA coaches, they, they're not very good. A lot of them. Every time they switch, they make them pay. Zubas and Harold. Every time they switch and put a little guy in the post, Dark River slows the game down and throws it down low. Those guys were seven for seven. Another time they pass out when they had to double because those little guys too little down there. Somehow, it's yes. just the first Some, team. Uh, first team I've seen like we're not going to let these little guys play in the post. Somehow I think that plays right into the pictures that Shaq has from the first half. Yeah, the Rockets are out rebounded twenty nine to twenty, and you know Chuck is absolutely correct. You got to damage them. Uh, you know, right here we know they're going to have trouble on the rebounds. Hopefully this doesn't cost them. But you're too little. Zubak is seven foot. And right here, me and Chuck love this. Okay, you gonna switch on me, little munchkin? Post, post. Just and look out for me. Pass it to the guy, another little guy on me. <laughs> We're playing high percentage basketball inside. Right here, big guy posting up. Feed the big guy. He's running, he's playing defense. Let him go to work. Let him eat. Kareem Zubak Jabbar. There he is right there. And right here, pick and roll. What, what do we switch? What do we do? We don't know what to do because nope. it's a guy switching and standing on the perimeter. You roll to the basket and you kill him on the inside. Yeah, Rockets, as we said, really struggling from deep in this these last 13 games when they've been playing the small ball and going 10 and 3 in the process averaging 18 made threes per game which is more than they averaged for the rest of the regular season but only two makes from deep tonight what'd you think Jet? again I mean they what they've said I, I'll just be reiterating it but I think the, the one thing that you fear in the East, the Western Conference Finals and the Western Conference Semis is when you have skilled bigs. And, and you know, with Montrezl Harrell, Zubak, they're skilled. So all of a sudden, the last part of defense, as I said at the beginning of the show, is rebounding. And when you can't rebound, when you're not making your shot, it's tough to stay in the game. But the one thing about the Rockets, they hit five threes in a row and be right back in this. They, that's what they bank on. They bank on the fact that we're still paying at a pace where you, you got 70 points. That's the place, pace we want to play at. And you're going to have to play against us that way. And we think we could still get back in a game like this and, and play. That's what they think. Yeah, but Ernie, it's some, can it's something we talked about a couple weeks ago. The way I would play the Rockets and the way the Clippers are doing it, uh, they they let James do his thing. They, they just said, James, you're going right. Mm -hmm. You're not going left. They letting Russ do his thing. The, the problem I had, the reason I don't like this thing is, I'm not going to let Covington, Tucker. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, this is what I, I'd say. You know, at this day in, in my career when I was with the Rockets, I was Tucker, those guys. And this was a game I'd say, oh, I can get 25 because there's no shot blocker. And so for me, who a guy who could, get a layup and a shoot a three, your, your energy level just picks up because the ball is in your hand. That's the danger of playing small, not just the, not just not the rebounding, but guys who are in that position go, I could get 25 tonight if I run the lanes and I get to the rim because there's nobody who can block See, and I, you're talking about the Rockets or the Clippers? Rockets. That's what, no, I mean the Clippers. That's what the Clippers are saying. There's guys saying, playing against the Rockets, I could get 25. It's easy. It's I get easy. 25, so those other yeah. guys are saying... It's, it's, it's an easy it game. It's like, yeah. if, like if you're in a fight, when a guy's dancing and just jabbing you, that's what you want. If he's just knocking the hell out of you and beating the hell out of you, you don't want that fight. Playing against the Rockets, as great as James and Russ are, it's an easy fight. Well, I saw you get beat up both ways. But I tell you what, I slapped them glasses off you. I wish you would. 67 well, to 44. I'm scared of 1987, Chuck. I is your halftime score. 2020, Chuck, I'll slap him up. Clippers versus Rockets <laughs> small ball squad. Uh -oh. It's only halftime. Like it's only halftime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no plan B, baby. That's adorable right there. We're coming back with more on the American Express halftime report in a second. Back here on the American Express halftime report. Steph Curry's going to play tonight. Has missed yes. 58 games. Hasn't played since the end of October after breaking his left hand, but he's back in there tonight after missing 58 games. He talked to Kristen Ludlow. Uh, anybody who's had surgery knows it's, it's a long time before you feel all the way back in terms of, you know, what it felt like before. I can always can compare each hand to you know, the right to the left and, uh, and know that there's a difference. But for me to be able to get to the point where when I'm out there on the floor, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just playing basketball and, uh, adjusting to what the new normal is and um, that's the part I'm excited about just knowing that all that I've been through that I, I'm confident enough in my hand to go out and play an NBA game at the you know the level that I need to be at and the intensity and the physicality of it all and, and be all right.
played four games before breaking the hand up uh, 12. But the, the good thing about it was Steph, yeah. he went down to the G League to play against some good competition before he comes back to a real yeah, NBA exactly, game. Exactly right. Uh, he leave him alone. 42 and 20 are the Denver Nuggets. What's the G League for? He, he, he played yeah, the game. He, for, he, didn't for a play, workout. he didn't want to play against them bombs he played with up at Golden State. He went down to the G League to get some real competition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many Steph go for tonight in his return? 15. Uh, I, I go 14 shots. How many points? No, 14 shots in 24 minutes. How many points is the question? How many points is he going to score? It don't matter. That's the man's question. That's his question. Tap me again. You see, I throw this water straight at you. You How many points will Steph Curry? That's his question. We get paid. You got you. 17. 17? In 24 minutes, he's 14 shots. I'm going to go. He goes 6 for 14. First of all, don't try to count on 10. So I'll give him 18 points. I'll give him 20. Hey, don't count on I'll TV. go the high. I'll go 20. You don't, know, you don't yeah, want people. That was, really a, that was a very difficult question. How many points is he going to score tonight? Come on, man. Answer the question, though. What's his answer the question? How about some highlights, y'all? The Joker. And the Nuggets in Charlotte. Kill him softly, brother. Joker had 14, 11, That's a dunk. And oh, that is P.J. Washington. P.J. Washington, I like him. And known him since high school. Jamal Murray, ah. after that Golden State loss, and said, put that one on me. So I need you to play better at both ends of the floor. He breaks the tie here, and then what is, what Scary of, Terry uh, off the mark. Scary Terry? Why are you going for a three in that situation? Denver wins it by a deuce. They're out in Houston, 120 to 105. Thank you, Jake. That's one of my favorite movies right there. Which one? Uh, the, what, you, what, Mike, he played McLovin. Hawaii. Uh, McLovin, yeah. He one of my partners. Did he? Thank you, Jake. That was a funny movie. Yeah. You're losing your ass, Scott. There you go. Okay. You're looking good. Now, we will bring you Inside the NBA, presented by Kia. Four games on the slate tonight. Good night for all the road teams. And excitement returns to San Francisco with the return of Steph Curry. All the highlights come your way next, as well as some impending birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Uh, 23, Jimmy. Uh, did I? Did we ask for that? 23 with limited. It's just a little show we call Inside the NBA, presented by Kia. Kia. And it comes your way yeah. live from Studio Kia. J here it's, in Atlanta. It's 120. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, AM. It's pretty normal, Chuck. We On a Friday morning. We've only been doing After a Thursday night doubleheader. It's officially some birthdays. Well, one birthday. We'll get to that later. Okay. But let's get to some highlights first. Are we going to watch the same game again? Yeah. The last. They understand their role. I saw Reggie said that we talked about it at halftime. They are one of the best coach teams in the NBA. Can he put Steph Curry's night in perspective oh, for me? I mean, it's the five ways to become a, to be a superstar. You have to be able to dominate the game in three or more, you know, and every night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will be back with more on Inside uh, in just a minute. We have more highlights to get to, and also, again, you got to put that on the when board. Steph, when Steph Curry speaks, we will listen. you got to put that on the board, Ernie. <laughs> Clippers handing it to the Rockets oh, tonight. Oh, Ernie, I got two words for you. In your face. No, beat, beat down. down. Yep. What else for you? NBA and WNBA family is celebrating Women's History Month. Together, we recognize the valuable role of sports in developing young girls and advancing women in society. Share how you celebrate the month using hashtag HerTimeToPlay. Visit JuniorNBA.com slash HerTimeToPlay to learn more. Well, sports broadcasting lost a pioneer last weekend, but to call Maura Mant a pioneer even its weekend, and that's kind of the point. Because behind the scenes, she was a force, influencing so many of the shows we watch. There's a goal in sports television, a striving to merge sports and entertainment. And that marked her professional life as she produced and directed documentaries, worked with NFL honors, built the ESPYs into the larger than life production which it has become. Like the 30 for 30 films she worked on, Mora was an original and was unforgettable. We at Inside the NBA send our sincere thoughts and heartfelt prayers to her family and friends. And Maura Mant was 53.
I did say he has to play like the Boston Horford, Horford now and not this yes, Philadelphia version who has not been exactly scoring. Exactly what you said. And saying. tonight he gets 15 points. This is exactly what I said. And I just... Uh, you, yeah, you repeat it like you always do. Reiterated, fool. How many times, how many <laughs> no, times have I heard Chris she, Paul no, is the best leader? Oh, that's what that would be. I heard that 900 times. I don't want to hear it no more time. I'm going to stab you next time you say Chris Paul <laughs> is the best leader in the NBA. Don't no, say man, it no quit acting like a thug on here. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia. I took it. I think Has beaten the Celtics now Chris Paul is the best leader. Chris Paul... No, all Damn. three times this Damn. year, Damn. and they're 11 and one when they hold teams under 100. They hold Boston to 98 tonight and win it 109 to 98. The uh, Houston Rockets and Oklahoma City Thunder, as we just showed you the highlights, 113 to 92, and Russell Westbrook's return mm. to Oklahoma City. We understand that Russell is in the process of making his way oh, great. to the uh, podium, yes. and uh, we'll hear his post-game thoughts on. Uh, you know what? That, that what? last year in, in Boston, you played <laughs> like a slug. You were <laughs> barely making it up and down the court. Yeah, but when I got home, I looked at my cap and I saw four things that you will never see. What's that? All right, and don't yes. All right, and yes. Yeah. He said, all right. Hey, what, hey listen, yeah. Ed McMahon, why you have to, every time Johnny says a joke, you got to jump No, because I looked at, no, <laughs> no, because I looked at my cabinet and saw something you ain't see either. Exactly. <laughs> Two R-I-G-S. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, telling you, that's it. Six Rings, that's the name of our podcast. That's the name of our six new podcast. Rings. I still, Dom and Dom yeah, sounds better rings. than me. So. Uh, it's better than Steam Room. Yeah. No, Steam Room is awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're just a hater, brother. <laughs> no, Steam Room. Six Rings. I like that. You like that, Six Rings? Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, what are you guys talking about here? What you see on Chuck's hands? Yeah, yeah, Cheeto finger, <laughs> fat boy. Look at you. You had Cheeto <laughs> finger, no, fat that boy. Is, that is, that's your um, Manny Petty. No, no, it's Cheeto. Is the, uh, what's the stuff you put in? Or was it was it the yeah, uh, Cheeto fingers? Was it, was it the strawberry? Uh, no, he was eating. No, don't Ernie, don't pretend. He was back there eating Cheetos. I saw him eating Cheetos. <laughs> Stop it. It's like one calorie. No, Kenny, he was eating Cheetos. The, the, the meal drink. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Right. He, was, he was eating baked Cheetos, America. Yeah. I saw you. I promise you'll hear from <laughs> Russell Westbrook on his return yeah. to OKC. Yeah, I was it's eating Cheetos. Yet. I yeah. was Take eating Take a break. Cheetos. Come hey, back. Alex, Cheetos. you're such a dog. Uh, I've been just J.A. <laughs> <Let's laughs> that can't be his name. Players of the month. I'm name kid J.A. and stop. Players of the month. <laughs> it's, some yeah, other, it's, it's some other. Yeah, I guess there's got to be some more stuff going on. Freak, freak. Freak. Yeah, there's got to be some more letters. You just can't stop at J.A. That's not true. Ja Rule. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was named after Ja Rule. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want to go to the fire Festival. All right, uh, so. Uh, oh. Oh. Give me the, oh, 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 the update. The update on the all-star balloting, uh, won't you please? In the uh, Western Conference, by the way, LeBron James has taken over the top spot overall, Ooh. going from third to first. Ooh, this uh, is this I'm not but, mad at this list. But here's the but here's the deal. That's that's in order of votes, but in the front court, it's LeBron and Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard with Paul George fourth, Doncic and Harden are in the backcourt, one oh, and two, with Lillard third. Oh, that's, Alex that, Caruso, that's, look no, at that. him. He's he's sixth among... Uh, Ernie, your son looks good the, out there. The back Listen, court. Th this is, this is set, set in stone right here, Ernie. Yeah, yeah I, I like this. So, that's gonna and be it the, should that's, be. And it should be, correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll say the same thing about the East. Why not? Well, because let's look at it. Uh, Giannis, Embiid, and Siakam in the front court. Trey Young, Kyrie Irving would be the would be the uh, backcourt right now because Jimmy Butler is fourth in the front court. Oh, see, listen. To that. And we gotta change the rules. We gotta change the rules. Well, this is the fans who they want to see. Yeah, yeah I know that. It's the second see, returns. It's not. Look it. at. Uh, see, we just can't be letting everybody vote. <laughs> well, there's going to be, it, it's, it's the fans, Wait, it's the fans, it's the players, it's the media. Last time, listen, last time we <laughs> let all these people have an opinion, we had a catastrophe on our hands. Oh, what are you trying to say? White House. <laughs> what are you trying White to say? House. No. We can't let everybody vote. We can't let everybody have an opinion. Yeah. Now, with Trey, is Trey Young an all-star? He's playing all-star-like, for sure. There's no doubt about it. He's playing all-star-like. Well, well, ho, 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 if ho. he's not voted in as a starter... It, it, it's close. According to Shaq's rules, he has he... to get in. No. 
Because you say it's not about the team. You it's a, it's you about the individual. They have, they have Jack, the worst you record in the league. Stop, Jack. stop, stop. And you just said it. He's playing all-star light, so you're correct. Okay, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. I, I would say... Yo, a, oh, the team has oh, that. Only, nah, only, I ain't got only, nothing to do with nothing. Winning matters. No, does winning matter. does matter. Winning does matter. Winning That's matters, matter. but I would say... I'm, I'm told. That he's ex yeah. his, it's extraordinary numbers that he's putting up. Mello in 2015... Ten win Knicks, and he and he was an All Star starter. So, Trey That's Young with the eight and thirty all -star Hawks right singular. now. Don't forget it. All yeah, I just say this. Sir. I'm not saying that Bob his team is a rebounds. Over. The Charisma. only reason he gets my consideration is the numbers are astronomical. Thank you. They're, they're, you they're, 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 even though he's on the worst team in the, in the NBA, I thought the Hawks would be better. I, 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 but John, the John Collins, um, no, that, no, that, that hurt. That, that, that hurt. That, 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 that's that not, hurt. No, but I they were actually playing decent. No, they were close because, to five hundred because you know DeAndre, five five. the guy, the guy I thought was going to be in the conversation rookie of the year, DeAndre Hunter has not did what I thought he was going to do. Cam Reddish has not did what he was supposed to do. Like when you get two lottery picks, you should not have the worst record in the NBA. I listen. You know I like John Collins, but when this season started. The Hawks had two of the top ten draft picks. I'm saying, man. Yeah, but just because you're a lottery pick don't mean you're going to come in the first year and Your do Your first work. year. Yeah, but the, you should not yeah. have the worst record in the NBA. I, the, I, so I, the, fan, the fans have Trey Young and Kyrie Irving as the starting backcourt right now. Well, Kyrie Irving has played 11 games. It, well, Ky, listen, Kyrie can't make the all-star team. Why? Because he hadn't played. He played 11 okay. games. I'm, I'm just asking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want no problems. He, don't want no <laughs> problem, he hadn't played. Yeah, I, I, I think so, that so. Trey Young is kind of like when we were voting with, with um, Russell Westbrook with the MVP. It's like, all right, the, you know, usually the top two or three got teams, guys were the top two or three teams, but the numbers that he's putting these triple doubles up Thank for you. the year, the whole year. Well, it, even though they're the six, seven most seed, valuable player, but we have most to valuable about team. that. Yeah, let me say this: If the fans really were paying attention to the game, Jimmy Butler should be leading as the. From the I would I agree with that. From the guard position, Jimmy the Miami over Heat. Trey. Yes. Yes, over the Miami Heat. Yeah, yes, but Jimmy Butler's a front court guy. Uh, thank you. Oh, he is. Yes. Yeah. See. So you got Giannis and Beaton Siakam. Siakam has been usual. out for a while Siakam, too. Siakam. Siakam. Well, well, let me early, just say this: He deserve it. Early. Other than Giannis, Trey deserves to be there. No, no. Uh, let me just say this: In the Eastern Conference, other than Giannis, Jimmy Butler should be an All Star. Uh, Jimmy Siakam, Butler. Siakam. No, no. In, in, this is just my even opinion. with the amount of games. No, I no. I'm Siakam. saying just in, in just my opinion, Giannis. And Jimmy Butler been the two best players in the Eastern Conference. And I'm gonna tell you something. Tell me something. If my boy Bam out of buy you, oh Bam is gonna make it. Okay, thank I you. Bam's, I said Bam. People are gonna make the All Star. Bam, Bam is gonna make an the All Star. Bam yes, is yeah, an All Star. He's not gonna make it. No, Bam's gonna make it. Bam. That 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 I'm record and his yo, he's averaging a double double eighteen. I understand points. that, but the people don't know who he is yet. Bam will make no. The coaches. Well, this this will be a way to let them know who he is. Bam, Bam, y'all better start voting. Y'all better start voting for Bam out of buy you. Yeah, <laughs> he is an all-star. Shaq and the Fool coming your way next here on Inside.